What's going on everybody? It's Slendy and you guys are in for a treat today. We have some awesome, awesome stuff to check out. Stuff that's in the PTR right now. Of course, subject to change, but for right now it is some amazing, amazing stuff. So where do we begin? Um, I already did a video on the new expedition, so check it out if you want to see what it's like. Um, there are going to be spoilers though, so if you don't want any, you know, spoilers, you want to be excited when it comes out, do not watch the video and do not watch this video. So um, me and my boys, we went out looking for Stinky the Hunter. We went looking for um, uh, Raffle Bones and we found both of them. So you guys are going to see that in the video. Really, really cool stuff. You get to see loot that they drop. Um, they give umbral shards. I mean, the whole thing is just amazing. And uh, I also show you guys some storage changes, some uh, inventory changes, changes in OPR. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I try to get all the big things that are going to be coming up that you guys might want to know about in actual, you know, live footage of everything going on. So be sure to check it out. If you guys have any questions, comments, you know, let me know. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. I can't wait to show you guys really, really good stuff. Oh, and thank you for uh, for the help finding these guys, Sap and St. Tyler. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to run around on a wild goose hunt, but it paid off. It sure did. So, all right, on with the video. You know, I think I'd put this in the PTR too. This is for anybody wondering what the PTR is about, what you start off with. I get a lot of questions about, you know, do you, do you start out at level 60? Do you start out um, with nothing? Like, how does that work? Well, you get to pick from a, um, three different starting points. You can start at like a fresh level two. You can start off at 60 with, um, which is what I did with all these items. And you basically get to pick, you know, what you want to use. So um, let's just say I'm going to start out as a healer. So if I want to be a healer, I'm going to open up this play tester stuff that they give us. And it's called Scholar. Or no, Sage. So here's all the Sage stuff that you get. So they give you a light armor box. They give you a medium armor box and a heavy armor box. So I'm just going to open up light. And they're also going to give you some trinkets too. They're random stats, random perks. So all my trinkets have focus, obviously, because it's sage and just different, you know, perks. So here's a ring with sacred and brilliant. So pretty good stuff actually already. So I'm going to equip that stuff right now. So here's my sage stuff. And now I'm going to open up the light armor for actually we'll do medium armor just to be, you know, middle of the road type of thing. So here's the medium armor. And again, just random perks, um, all focus, but random perks. So I'm going to equip all that stuff. And then I also already opened up the box of weapons and these are all the different weapons you get. Again, random perks, but they all have the corresponding, um, you know, attributes. So intelligence on the, um, you know, the mage stuff, uh, life staff should have focus and that's right here and 29 focus. And so that's how it works. Um, you also get a bunch of consumables, a bunch of gems. So I'll show you guys a couple of those really quick. And it's actually a lot of fun and you get to gear yourself up and, you know, go run some dungeons. All these consumables, all the different types of foods. And then of course your gathering tools, some tuning orbs. Wouldn't that be nice to open this up on live? Holy crap. <laughs> That'd be so cool. And then you've got your mutated tuning orbs, 10 of them and some aptitude resource boxes. So you get rare resources, raw resources, refined resources, food, flux, all this stuff. So you can do some crafting too. So we'll just open up one of the raw resources. Now, I don't know why it only gives you tier five. You know, I was planning on doing some uh, crafting and stuff, with, but you know, it's, it's only giving us tier five. So I don't know why they're doing that, but you know, it is what it is. So that's it guys, that's a look at, you know, what you start off with in the uh, PTR. It's pretty fun, pretty cool stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, so back to the video. All right, so first thing I wanna show you guys is the storage. There are no limitations on what you can do with the storage anymore. You have the freedom to move uh, in and out storages across the map, it doesn't matter. So currently I am a Marauder. I'm just gonna show you guys that really here. So we're green. I'm in a Marauder territory right now, but I'm gonna show you guys, you can actually move um, stuff in and out of storage in any storage whatsoever on the map. Check it out. So we're just gonna go to uh, Last Stand. 
and I've got a couple things in there already and you can just move them freely. There's no cost associated with it. There's no restrictions whatsoever. You can move in and out of storage anything you want from anywhere on the map. It does not matter. Look at that. Now, I hope this isn't a glitch. I hope this isn't a, you know, a bug. But as of right now, on the PTR with patch one, this is the way it is. No more restrictions. You can do whatever you want between any of the storages. It doesn't matter what faction you're in. It doesn't matter what you own, what you don't own. It's, you know, no limitations whatsoever. It is absolutely amazing. So that's number one. Now, another great thing about the storage that they said in the PTR notes is the fact that not only can we now see how much extra storage we're gonna get in the tooltip for these different items, they've been increased. So now, a just a regular hewn log storage chest gives 400 weight, and the iron storage chest will give us 600 weight. So they've been increased, and it actually shows us how much we're gonna get from each one. So that is an awesome, awesome, much needed quality of life change. And you guys are gonna like this one. This is the ability to actually open up your inventory while you're moving. Is that not great or what? You can change weapons. You can equip consumables, change things around. I mean, this, is, this should have been in the game also a long time ago. So another huge quality of life change. It's just amazing. Another great change if you are a ranged person and this applies to arrows, this applies with your um, musket, the blunderbuss, doesn't matter. If you have a ranged weapon, excluding the, the magic weapons, you no longer need any ammo in your inventory. So if you ran out of ore, calc, and bullets, I'm just gonna throw these on the ground so I can show you guys really quick. And I'll show you both the bow and the musket. And hell, I'll even do the, the blunderbuss too. So let me repair this. And we'll go ahead and pop that in there. All right, so I don't have any ammunition in my inventory at all, none. But that doesn't matter because you can still shoot the regular tier. This is your tier one ammo and you have unlimited. So no more running out of ammo. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to be stuck with tier one. And uh, yeah, great change. And here's the bow. There's no more indicator, you know, how much ammo you have until you equip, you know, some worthy ammo. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up. And it's still using just the regular ammo until you equip the good ammo. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So we've got our orichalcum arrows and orichalcum bullets. And now we actually can see how much ammo we have. And that's for both types of weapons. So awesome change, in my opinion, I think so. So now you're not gonna have, be stuck with no ammo if you run out. You can always rely on, you know, the lower tier ammo, but hey, it is what it is. So I think that's a, definitely a, a good welcome change. And another thing that's been added is when you talk to your faction uh, quest guy, you actually see what active bonuses we have at the bottom there. So it says daily bonus, monarchs plus fort control bonus. So that's just something extra that they've added that, you know, you didn't see before. Now I've been sitting here for, well, not sitting here, I've been doing other stuff too, but the uh, outpost rush, absolutely nobody's doing outpost rush because the uh, Mercard Expedition's up, everybody's doing that. But one big change that they've added was the fact that, you know, and this was something that I mentioned earlier, should be a thing. You weren't getting any kind of um, score for controlling or for actively participating in, you know, standing on the points in OPR. I really wanted to do an OPR just to see if it's actually live, see if it's actually working. But again, I just can't get an OPR to um, open up. So instead what I'll do is I'll go to this here and it says right here, uh, players will now receive score credit for contesting a control point. Why that was never a thing, or maybe it was and they just changed it, but now if you are capturing a point, you will be getting points, you know, contributed to your score for, uh, you know, contesting a control point. So that's a really good change. I think that's one of the main things you need to be doing in a OPR match, you know, contesting points, helping out your players, your team, you know, by actually getting on the point instead of just fighting people randomly in the forest, etc., etc. So that's a good thing that's changed. I was trying to get some footage of it, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Man, we're not gonna see shit, are we? I was like, we're saying we're trying. Straight through the middle. <laughs> we ain't gonna see shit, are we? We ain't gonna see straight shit. Up, <laughs> I like that.
like your directional turn and, with your, And the uh, thing is, is you didn't even think about fighting him either. You flurried through him or whatever. <laughs> Just kept going. <laughs> so what do you think the roadside thing is anyway? It's the public I'll be honest with you, man. I don't know. And the thing is, is that I'm not in Weaver's Fen a lot, so I don't know what's normal and what's not. Yeah, same here. Oh, I know what's normal. A whole lot of fucking nothing. Yeah. And what death modes. A roadside event is something to, uh, like, it'll spawn mobs near you when you're just running around. It sounds like. That would be such an anti-bot thing. Uh, I think that's the whole point of them. Like, I imagine if you're just standing yeah. still not doing much, it'll do it. It's just like in RuneScape when they added the little yeah. vent right thing. Vents, Stop pots. Ooh, Stinky! I found him, dude! No way! He's fucking right here. I found him! Wait, don't, don't, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Do whatever. I, I turned off my HUD so I could see him. He's just a little fucking... A little Simon. Um, what? Stinky, you fuck. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Stinky just gave you Alright, so Stinky was just... Uh, can be found wandering around the swamps. Uh, he he can drop three named items for level 30 players. Stinky's keepsake, sharpshooter, and hatchet. But at least we saw him, dude. That's awesome. Here, let me save this clip really quick. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see him. Okay. So I'm going to try to get a screenshot of him, like up close. Oh, he's running. Hidden stash? What's that? You guys ever see hidden stash? No, I don't think so. It's a green bag. I just got it from, uh, I think I got it from that house. Those guys were killing Sab. Sab. Open it. Do you have any? It's got so many boxes in here that I have. <laughs> yeah, it gives you all the different types of moats, a gypsum. Oh, it's like the the berries instead of the berries. What? Was that in the patch notes? One earth oh, moat, it one, again? one earth moat, one water moat, one life moat, one three air moats, a diamond gypsum, and 168 coins. So it's like wow. these replace the... Um, Whatever they are, the elderberries or whatever points. Yeah, the gy 
Jupiter or whatever they're called. 